Welcome to Holistic Eagle Eye. My name is Wendy P. Fulford. I'm so happy to be able to share some natural information about the human body. I've been practicing natural health for about 17 years. Um, uh, my husband and I have been in practice and helping the body in different ways. I'm a certified natural health professional, I'm not a doctor, but we help people who may be diseased or the body is congested somewhere. So disease means your body has too much something in it or not enough. Not enough nutrients, but too much of toxicity. So what we do, we put it in the balance. So that's why we're certified natural professionals. So we go through the whole body. And what we do in our practice here, we do iridology, scurology, reflexology, that's what my husband does, and foot detox. And we also do light therapy. And so each of those services hits the body in a different way. But before we go into each of those services, we just want to talk about the anatomy of the body. The Creator has given us a wonderful gift, which has given us the human body. And in the human body, it's very intricate, it's very detailed. Let me give you an example. We have 10 systems in the body. And the body is respiratory system, circulatory, intestinal, digestive, nervous system, immune. So we've had many people come with disease. We do not diagnose anyone. Like I said, I'm not a medical doctor, but people come to us with medical conditions. So when doctors may give up on a person or cannot help them, they drop them, we pick them up. And what we do, we build them up naturally. So we look into the eye, it's called scurology, the red veins tell us where did the body get congested at. And then one client came in um, some time ago, and we found that one system was off in her body was the nervous system. Now the nervous system is very intricate. As you see the green veins, it comes from the spinal area, but it's also flowing through the whole body, to the tip of the fingers, to the top of the head, to the bottom of the toes. So the green veins, which represents the nervous system, it can get congested. It can get some kind of problems. And then looking at a person's body, we see people come to me with fibromyalgia, diagnosed by the doctor, Parkinson, or MS. And in studying the body and those diseases, we found out they all connected with the nervous system. Well, this one particular person came to me, and her face was twisted, and she was just diagnosed with Bell palsy. Now, Bell, Bell palsy is a nerve also um, issue, and it twisted her face. Now, looking at her from a distance, you would think she had a stroke because it was on the right side. But as I looked into her eye, I saw always oh, a nerve to her right side of her brain. And so we find that, okay, so now we gotta work out how to get that inflammation off of the right side of her brain to relax her face. So what I did, I, we do something called light therapy, like I said, I mentioned it earlier. And just like a baby gets jaundice in the hospital, they put a yellow light on the baby. So we have different colors for different situations. So I put a certain color on for her nerve, put it on her face, and immediately she said she felt her whole face was numbing. So numbness is feel like it's nothing circulating. But then she started getting tingling. We was like, that's what we wanted to hear. She started getting tingling in her face. Tingling means circulations opening up. And so this circulation from the nervous system was not needed to be open in her face. And then once we, in two hours, we took the light off her face and her face became untwisted. Just a little bit, we saw a difference. And then I said, okay, I need you to come back in four days so I can recheck you. And I gave her an herb the continue to relax that nerve on her face. She came back, it was amazing. Her whole face was back to normal. Absolutely, she said, show everybody this picture, Wendy. And she's doing fine. She came up for her follow-up um, about a month ago, so we keep checking her up. But we found out this nerve, nerve has to do with stress. Everybody knows that. And that's diseases come along with also your toxicity. But her stress came from an individual. So I identified who was stressing her out. So I told her, when that person starts getting on your nerve, you need to take a little deep breath and say, you know what, this is not gonna affect me. And we walked through and I had her write about how the person made her feel. So she got her emotions out on paper, but her body didn't get the reaction. So now she feels, the, she feels control of her, her emotions instead of her emotions are out of control. Usually when we're diseased, something's out of control. Toxicity, or stress. And that's what I love about scurology. The red veins tell me where did the unbalance come from? It can even come from your mom. It can come from your dad. You can get their stress. 
and you find that people are born, children are born, especially with children whose parents are on drugs. The baby got high nerve, high energy. That's not the baby's problem. That was the parents did that. So what we do, we look in the eye of the individual. The parent might have that issue, but we want to make sure the child don't live with that the rest of their life. So we detox them. We literally detox the individual for something that might be in their parents, it's in their blood, it's in their system, and we can pull it out. Not perfectly, but enough to make sure that person will get the person's disease from their parent. And we love it so much. So, so much that we can share. Uh, like I said, the person coming to us with different diseases. They come to us with HIV. We don't diagnose. They come to us with five words. I was sick. My husband and I have been married 30 years in December. We have no children. And um, I had endometriosis, and I had 12 fibroids. And we found that what system affected me was the glandular and the immune system. So my immune system was weak. And so what it did, it attacked my uterus. And then it also affected my digestion system. So I wasn't digesting my food. And I went up to size 20, 18, 20. I just kept on gaining weight and gaining weight, and I had 12 fibroids. Kept on getting surgery. They kept on removing the 12 fibroids. In 13 years, I just kept on going back and going back. Now, I'm not knocking the medical field because we need them when it's an emergency. If I get hit by a car, take me to now to the emergency room. Don't stick an herb in me. I need, I got hit by a car. But we want preventive things. We want things that not to come back when it comes to toxicity. So, first and I did iridology in my eye, and she found that I was congested in my colon and my digestive system, and my immune was dropping. So what she did, she told me what food was connected with my sickness. And then she talked about my, uh, what our body I need too much of. So when she detoxed me, it took three months. I lost 50 pounds. I went from size 18, 20 to size 2, 4. And I, my husband and I did eventually get pregnant later some years. And we had miscarriage and I was just so busy with life and help other in life. My body wasn't settled enough. So my goal now is to get people well naturally. My sickness is going to help people's well health, and that's what I love about what I do. I literally studied the body for 17 years and learned so much, so much, and I teach it. I love to share this knowledge, so if you're interested in any classes, I do do classes online. Um, we've uh, taught somebody always from London, so we can teach them online. If you got internet, we can teach you. So this is the immune system. We do other um, areas. We also talk about emotions. How different types of emotions come from different people that come across our life. Our neighbors might call you. You might have a neighbor that's very angry, and they bring their anger on you, and then they're affecting you. Or you might have a coworker, or a family member, or a friend. You have all types of emotions. Which emotion is overtaking your health? Um, we know love comes from the heart. Um, we have other emotions connected to other organs in our body. So when you come in and I do an assessment, you can shoot me a picture of your eye. We'll give you directions how to take a picture of your eye. And we'll shoot it right, uh, shoot right to my email and we can start right with the phone. So I'm hoping that we are able to give you some information about our practice. And we're hoping soon to hear from you. My contact information is my email, my company name is Holistic Eagle Eye. And dot com is our website. And my email is Wendy's Healthy Outlook at gmail.com. My contact information is 484-469-8506. But when you go to holisticegui.com, you'll get all that information. We'll hope to hear from you. Shoot out me an email. Let me know what you think about this information we um, introduced ourselves to. And what would you like for me to help you with in your natural way, way of health? Thank you.